All right, Coach, how yep. have the preparations gone this week for this game tomorrow? Yeah, I know I, I say this, but i just uh, been very impressed with the staff and the players. They've, uh, they're locked in, ready to go. I think the only thing left is to play the game. And I know every game is important, but just when you're so close to a team in the standings, you're heading into a bye week, just how important is this game? It's the next game. You know what I'm going to say. And it's, it's the truth because, yeah, if there's other ramifications, do we know it's a divisional game? Do we know we have the same amount of points in the standing? Uh, those sorts of things, absolutely. But that wouldn't make us change our play calling, play harder, I would hope not. Uh, those sorts of things, right? It's, it's still the process. And that's about getting better. And we're slowly, you know, we're getting better. And so this is, this is, um, this is important because it is the next game on a schedule and we need to get better. And just what have you seen from Taylor now his second week around of being that starting guy and getting ready here? You know, I was asked this the other day. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen any change, to be honest with you. I think obviously he gains another game of experience. So this won't be, you know, the Toronto Argonauts out there or, or – or anything like that. It's it's just he has that experience now. He's no, had a second prep week of when you're the person ready to go. So he'd be the better one to ask. Um, we just want him to make his plays, go through his progression reads, and uh, you know when the opportunity presents itself, make that play. Thank you. About his progression, the second half help a player like that. I mean, and just in general. I mean, the second half he had in the, like he. Climatization in that first half. Second half. Yeah, no fair question. Fair question, and I think only only the time in the next game will reveal that. Um, I don't think it can hurt. I think anytime you can make an adjustment like that and find a way to move the ball, and you know, the, the game may slow down you know, of some sorts for him. But I think the real test is is when it's live. So. Um, yeah, to think that it is not going to help us would be a little bit misleading, but we'll see how much it helps us uh, heading into this game. Defense doesn't allow a touchdown. Yay. Yeah, right. So you're yeah. looking for that. Yeah. What does that do? Yeah, that, that allow, it opens, you know, obviously the playbook up for the offense a little bit. It, it breeds confidence uh, in the defense and, and really – selling, you know, we're taking, you know, we, we always sell being top down and we struggled at that. Let's just say what it is. And this was an opportunity where uh, we consistently did it throughout the game. And then ultimately on the biggest stage when the game was on the line, we found a way to knock a ball down and, you know, help preserve a victory there. And that was a hard fought game. So that's all in the past. And we're looking for consistency, uh, not rare moments of greatness, but consistency. And so it's really looking forward to this game tomorrow. Both defensive ends that are playing in this game, Sean, I thought last game. That, would you? Yeah, I think it, not just not just in the tangible statistics of sacks. Yes, those showed up, and those are nice. Those are fun. You get to celebrate together. But we had a lot of hits on the quarterback. We were close to the quarterback on the majority of plays last week, and that doesn't go unnoticed either. And so I think we always say that like, being close does count. And so, you know, those two are a part of it, but there's, there's also two people inside mm -hmm. and pressure oftentimes outside that, that also frees them up. But I thought when we had, you know, basically four on six or three on six, they did a decent job of maybe not always sacking them, but wrecking a little bit of havoc. I was going to go to that three on six. That given the way the, and often it was sales on the two defensive ends. Yep. That enabled you, I think, to confuse them. I mean, I know you rotate things up, but that enabled the defense to confuse them a little. You know, they'd be the better ones to ask. I, I think we're, it's not like we were the first team to ever rush three and, and spy somebody. Uh, you know, every team could play the same coverage, but the individuals play it a little bit different, maybe a little bit different technique, maybe different skill set, instincts, speed, aggressive, that sort of thing. Maybe some teams jam. But overall, the concept and the defense may be the same. So um, I do think that um, – we made him tuck the ball. So, you know, whether he was instructed to do that and not go through things, you know, we don't know. We just knew that when in doubt, he was going to take off and we needed to be ready for it. Which brings me to sort of a, it's all tied together, right? I mean, me bones connected to the thigh bone. Jameer Thurman, the last few games, but maybe he's not getting enough credit for the kind of, particularly the last three or four games, the season that he's had. Well, I'm not surprised because sometimes you don't even know he's here. 
and that's just the type of person he is. Um, you know, he shows up to work. He's always carrying around uh, equipment to make sure he's taking care of his body. You know, he's early. You know, he's taking notes. He practices hard. He also, you know, he practices through a lot of pain. And he's not alone in that category. We've got a lot of people that are, you know, don't don't take the easy way out. They they push through practice. And there's there's plenty of times he could have sat out. So uh, I'm not surprised because he's a quiet person. Yeah, he likes to celebrate and have some fun. But, you know, he's not a guy that brings attention to himself. The last one for me, the, again related. Stanbeck had a pretty good game, at least first half last or last game. Yeah. Which they haven't had much off the running game. So I would assume that Jameer becomes pretty premium. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to decide to to pound the, the rock, then it's not just Jameer, though, right? It's, you know, if, if he's not clean or isn't reading things um, correctly, consistently, you know, then it doesn't show up. But usually when people have what we like to, hopefully they turns into tackle practice, if they're clean, they should they should make plays. But ultimately, containing it's hard to stop the run. If they want to commit to it, it's tough. I mean, they they do a great job of that. Uh, it's a collective effort. So uh, we'll have our hands full, and then they got a great play action game. We know that they're going to take their shots, and so you know I feel like we're prepared. But we'll see. You have to play the game.